Here we will draw the cutaneous nerve and dermatomal sensory maps of the body. For the cutaneous nerves, divide the body into the torso, arm, and leg. First, indicate that the supraclavicular nerve covers the upper shoulder and that the axillary nerve covers the area below it. Then indicate that the anterior and lateral cutaneous rami of the thoracic nerves cover the medial and lateral areas of the trunk. Anterior cutaneous rami exist at each spinal level and are named in reference to the nerve root that supplies them. Next, indicate the inguinal nerves cover the inguinal region. They specifically are the iliohypogastric, ilioinguinal, and genitofemoral nerves. Now, indicate the lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm, a radial nerve branch, and the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, a musculocutaneous nerve branch, cover the lateral arm and forearm, respectively. Then indicate the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, both of which are branches of the medial cord of the brachial plexus, cover the medial arm and forearm, respectively. Now show the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve covers the lateral aspect of the thigh, and the anterior branches of the femoral nerve cover the medial and anterior thigh. Next show the obturator nerve covers a small patch on the medial aspect of the thigh. Then indicate the saphenous nerve, the sensory extension of the femoral nerve, covers the medial aspect of the lower leg to the instep of the foot. Then show the common perineal nerve covers the upper lateral aspect of the lower leg, and the superficial perineal nerve covers the lower lateral aspect of the lower leg. It also covers the dorsum of the foot except indicate the deep perineal nerve covers the webbing between the great toe and the second digit. Now let's draw the dermatomal map. First show C7 covers the middle finger, C8 the medial hand, and C6 the lateral hand and lateral forearm. Split the arm into medial and lateral compartments and show C5 covers the upper lateral arm, then show T1 covers the medial forearm, and T2 the medial upper arm. Next show T4 covers the band across the nipple line, T10 the umbilicus, and L1 the inguinal region. Now to show the sensory coverage of the lower extremity, divide it into four compartments from superior lateral to inferior medial using three sloping lines. Label them L2, L3, L4, and L5 respectively. Then label the lateral ankle as S1. Now let's draw the posterior sensory maps. Again, draw the torso and upper and lower extremities for the cutaneous nerve portion. Show the supraclavicular nerve covers the posterior shoulder region and the axillary nerve covers the lateral region beneath it. Indicate that the greater occipital nerve derived from the dorsal ramus of C2 covers the posterior scalp. Then show the posterior cutaneous rami cover from the upper back to the buttock. Posterior cutaneous rami exist at each spinal level and are named in reference to the nerve root that supplies them just like the anterior cutaneous rami are. Now show the lateral cutaneous nerves of the forearm and arm cover the lateral posterior upper extremity and the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm and arm covers the midline posterior upper extremity. The radial nerve supplies both the lateral and posterior nerve groups except for the lateral cutaneous nerve to the forearm, which the muscular cutaneous nerve supplies. Then label the medial posterior upper arm with the medial cutaneous nerves of the forearm and arm. They are supplied by the medial cord of the brachial plexus. Next show the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve covers the midline back of the thigh, and the sural nerve covers the lower lateral leg and lateral foot. The sural nerve is formed from branches of both the perineal and tibial nerves. To draw the posterior surface dermatomal map, begin with the anus. Label it S5. For simplicity, we exclude the coccyx, which is present within the center of S5. Show S4 and circle S5, and S3 and circle S4. Then show S2 and circle S3 superiorly, and extend down the medial leg. Next, show S1 extend down the lateral leg. Now show that the dermatomal sensory coverage of the posterior arms is the same as that of the anterior arms. Show C2 covers the back of the head, C3 and C4 the posterior neck, and T2 to L5 
the upper back down to the buttock. This concludes our drawing of the sensory maps of the body.